Sunday, February 22nd, 2015. Currently in the Southern San Joaquin Valley area, just north of Bakersfield. Heading for a target of Wasco. There's a cold core low that is sliding down the valley, bringing thunderstorms to the area. What I'm anticipating is uh, cold air funnels as thunderstorms are popping up around the area with, with, the, uh, with, with some instability and some uh, pretty decent lapse rates in mid levels. So, what was interesting is that looking at the models and the data, I was thinking everything was going to be a little farther north a little bit later, but uh, everything is a little farther south. So, actually better for me because timing was a major issue and um, I missed a couple of storms, but uh, we've got more forming out toward the west, uh, crossing I-5 and heading toward the northwest toward the Wasco area, McFarland, Delano, in that area right there. There seems to be some kind of a boundary, whoops, there seems to be some kind of a boundary running from about Lost Hills toward the south of Tulare. So the storms are there, They're, they've been forming. Um, one was relatively strong, but uh, it has weakened since. And um, But I've got more opportunities and I'm gonna try to see if I can pull something out with the next uh, three hours of daylight that I got left. So. bit of a mess there over Lost Hill between Buttonwill and Lost Hills and uh, it's, it's it's tracking to the north northeast just to my south west southwest and it looks like it's the uh, remnants of that one cell that was over Lost Hills or just to the west of Lost Hills and had moved out over crossing I-5 and it kind of kind of weakened but I'm thinking that it's probably going to uh, redevelop because it, uh, it it's, it's looking pretty good right now I'll send you some uh, I'll send you some shots I do see some really nice inflow really nice long inflow tail going into it right now it looks actually pretty impressive and there's a really nice darkened base just below where it atta where the uh, tail is attaching into. Oh my god. <laughs> there was a way that I could just... Now I got trees in my way. What is up with this crap? need to find a better viewing spot.
What in the hell is that? Look at that. I've got excellent visibility. If I had been right here earlier. Well, okay. Now I gotta go east. Stay ahead of this. Hey Dan, um, yeah, I'm looking at a cell right now over Corcoran, like you had mentioned, and uh, that was actually my uh, original target to head to, but then I saw these earlier cells going up over by Lost Hills and Wasco and, and that, so I decided to, to intercept this one first, but now I'm seeing the Corcoran stuff um, going up now. I don't know, I may be able to head back to the 99, and punch north and intercept because there, that one cell over Tulare, just the east of Tulare, looks like uh, it's cranking up too. But um, the, the whole thing is timing. So um, I don't know. I I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm just gonna kind of play with this one that's coming over uh, Shafter. Actually, it's Shafter now, south of Wasco and sh right over Shafter. 
follow it, try to get some more picks. Uh, it did develop a, um, a, a raggedy type shelf. It wasn't all that photogenic, but it was there. And um, uh, there was some really interesting rising motions going on and uh, the way the everything was kind of like streaming in behind it. Um, it, it looked pretty, looked, looked pretty, uh, Look pretty, uh, pr pretty cool. Anyway, so anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm uh, pretty much in Shafter, and I think I'm just gonna punch east and get back to the 99, get ahead of this line, and then start punching north. So that's my plan. Get back on the 99. I think this thing's crossing the 